Hello everyone, this is uh, unscripted, so excuse me if I start rambling. Um, I today I want to show you like a technique, I guess uh, you could call it, that leverages the pipe functionality of the Helix editor in combination with Olama. Olama is a uh, large language model tool. It uh, enables you to run um, uh, large language models in the terminal and also it's like a server you can pipe uh, or you can curl it and stuff like that but today we're just going to use it for uh, in the terminal um, and basically what you can do with it let me just show it really quickly um, for example you can uh, take in a paragraph and um, make it bullet points that's just an example you can uh, do whatever you want with it in the end. Obviously, the output will depend on how good the model is and how good you can prompt it. Um, how you do this is by first installing Olama and Helix and so on. Then, let me make that a bit bigger. Olama has uh, the capability, I guess, of um, showing uh, model files. Model files are like, uh, they say, there's a lot of licensing in the, in this one. <laughs> uh, they they say, uh, they show uh, the system template and so on. If you edit this, and of course you can remove the licensing as long as you use it just on your computer. Um, let me show you what I did. Basically, if you uh, remove the licensing and then add another uh, parameter called system, and uh, like obviously there's a lot of improvement possible here, possibly. Um, here I just wrote your content uh, curator. You condense the prompt into bullet points, and this is kind of important. You have to tell them that. Uh, you don't want any like additional stuff around it, otherwise you'll just have to delete it all the time. Um, then you save it as a file. I just called it MF, I don't even remember why. And then you can uh, use Olama create. Um, you can uh, give the model you're creating now a name and point it to the file you just wrote. Then you have um, another uh, another uh, model you can run. So if you type in model Olama run and the model, and then I don't know. Let's let's go in here uh, and say we want to copy that and paste it in here. Just like I don't say please paraphrase this or something. I just paste it in, press enter, and we will get out the bullet points because the model we are using, the MF model, has a specified um, system prompt. And that's basically what we are doing. So let's go in here. Let me uh, undo that. And now I'm going to record a macro so I can use it on all the um, following uh, uh, paragraphs if I want to. So I press quotes, then I choose B, just like for bullet points, I guess. Then Shift Q, so capital Q recording into register queue. Then I'm just gonna match uh, in paragraph. So now the whole paragraph is um, selected. Then I can press the pipe symbol and put in exactly what it <coughs> what it uh, recommends here, what I did before. Basically you use X arcs to um, put whatever you have there behind the Olama command. And sometimes you have to choose the dash zero um, flag for X arcs if you have quotes in the um, in the in the prompt or in the in the, in the paragraph you want to uh, paraphrase, and then you just say Olamar run the model name, press enter. It thinks for a second, and uh, there's the output. Then you can press Shift Q again to finish the recording. And then you can just say uh, quotes be normal queue and we'll do it with all the uh, other um, 
paragraphs you put in. Obviously, again, the quality of the uh, of the bullet points will greatly depend on what model you actually use. Um, in this example, I just chose uh, Llama 3 latest, which is like a good model for a local computer without a big graphic card, uh, GPU or anything. But um, there are obviously better ones. For example, the Llama 370B is obviously way better, but it's also way slower. Or if you're on a laptop, for example, you could use Phi 3. Um, these models are actually quite good. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can, you could, of course, like, uh, for example, you are a translator, translate the paragraph into whatever you want. Um, I think like this, this pipe functionality has very many use cases. 